Hello, so today I'm going to be painting a Tiffany lamp and I got inspired by going to the art museum because they had a Tiffany lamp exhibition. So um, I just want to see what I can come up with. I'm going to be using Holbein acrylic gouache and I'm going to be using fluid hot press watercolor paper. I also used um, just plain regular flat craft brushes. Um, I kind of like using the craft brushes because they're a little bit, um, especially with the acrylic gouache, because it's the bristles are a little bit firmer and it's just a little easier to use than just using regular watercolor brushes. So I'm just gonna show you what I'm gonna paint and I hope you enjoy it. Louis Comfort Tiffany was born February 18th, 1848 in New York. He worked in decorative arts and believed in bringing nature inside by creating colorful puzzle pieced stained glass on lamps. He was the first design director at his family company Tiffany and Company, which collaborated with designers Lockwood DeForest, Candace Wheeler, and Samuel Coleman. They designed windows, mosaics, blown glass, jewelry, ceramics, and enamels. Louis Comfort Tiffany started out as a painter but was um, intrigued by glass making. His attention moved toward making uh, art with glass. So Oddly enough, the business only lasted for four years, but he began to do other ventures. He made his own glass. He, used, he wanted to use an opalescent glass to create a unique style that you'll see in the Tiffany lamps. So here I'm just starting with a light sketch and pencil of the Tiffany lamp. So I'm just going to kind of lightly sketch it in. And a sketching tip that I have would be to um, hold your pencil, like kind of hold your fingers at the, almost to the end of the pencil. It'll help you to sketch a little bit better. Or it'll be easier to sketch, especially when I have this, um, I'm using a 9 by 12 fluid hot press watercolor block and I have it on a tabletop easel In this easel I've had for a few years and um, it just makes it easier to sketch if you're sketching on an easel to hold the pencil a little bit farther you know down the bottom so it makes it a lot easier to sketch. So I'm just going to lightly sketch this in pencil and then I'll add my wash once I have my initial sketch and where I want to put everything. So as you can see, I'm using the Holbein acrylic wash, and I really like this wash. Um, it just, it doesn't feel as chalky as other gouache that I've been using before. And I just like the way it looks when it dries, and I also, I don't know, I just like using certain paints. 
Sometimes when you use different types of paints, you kind of find which paint that you really like. So I really like using this Holbein acrylic wash. As you can see, the way I'm painting this Tiffany lamp, I'm kind of just, you know, doing some like impressionistic style painting where I'm not really detailed, I'm just kind of putting down some paint. I'm just kind of giving you the impression of what this lamp is. It's not a perfect replica, but it's an impression of how that lamp looks to me. So that's just my style of painting. I kind of like, you know, making it more impressionistic of my view of how I see that lamp. So when I'm painting, I'm, I'm just thinking about how I see the lamp. You know, I'm not copying the lamp exactly, but I'm just, you know, going by what I see. And that's just the style of my painting. I like to do like a lot of, you know, different brush strokes on top of brush strokes. And I just, I don't consider myself a very, um, like I said, detail painter, but I really like the style that I paint, so. And also the colors that I use, I'm just using the acrylic gouache primary colors plus vermilion. So I don't use a whole lot of colors. I'm also big on just using primary colors and mixing your own colors. To me, it saves a lot of money and it also is just more fun for, to mix the colors yourself. So I'm just using, you know, just a few colors to come up with all these different colors.
Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you found it inspiring. And if you would like to see more information about the Tiffany lamps, you can check out my blog, artsyvic.com, and I'll have some information there.